We've got another $50 bag of pennies from Southern Metals Bank. Hey everyone, it's Rob Bynes Treasure and welcome back to my channel. We have another bag of pennies. It's $50 worth, so it's two boxes worth in this bag. Now, I want to thank one of my channel moderators, Southern Metal, for sending me this bag. And if you guys recall, we've hunted one of his bags before. And in that bag, we got two upgrades and two additions to this book. Now, that was when we had a lot more spots to fill. And now that we're only down to the last... 29 spots through 206 boxes. I'm not expecting to get maybe anything for the book, but if we get something for the book, that'd be nice. Now, I do want to make mention that my moderator, Southern Metal, who sent me this bag, does have a 2,500 subscriber giveaway going on, and I'll have that link to that video both down below in the video description, and I'll throw it up here for you guys as well. Now, because it's not rolled up like my normal hunts, I won't be keeping track of what roll we're on. I'm just going to take handfuls out at a time, dump them out, and then sort through them and bring you guys in for fines. Obviously, at the end of this two-box or one-bag hunt, I'll give you a look at the book to see if we have any upgrades or additions. For now, I'm going to slide that out of the way. And, of course, I've got to undo this seal on this bag and start cracking into it. And we'll see if we have any wheat scents that we can see from the top staring back at us. All right, we've got it open. And, surprisingly, right on top, we're going to have our first wheat scent find of the hunt. The first wheat scent of the hunt is going to be a 1949. And I believe there's a mint mark, either a D or an S. And... It's a Denver. 1949 Denver wheat scent. First on the board. I'll be back with my next find. Just grabbed my second handful out of the bag and laid it out. And I see two wheat scents. I had to uncover this one because it looked like it and saw that it was a 1941 Denver. So we'll take that one. And then we have another one reverse face and it looks like it might be cleaned. Yeah, it looks like it might be cleaned. But let's see what year it is. And that's going to be a 1944 Denver. And even though it's cleaned, we do need to check it for that 44 D over S. And even though there's some elements around the Denver mint mark, that's not the D over S. Either way, we have three wheat tents already and only two handfuls. And uh, all three are from the 40s. Still working our way through the bag. And I think I'm on like handful number five or something. But this is the fourth nice 1959 Philadelphia we have found so far through a few handfuls. So someone might have dumped a roll of copper 1959s in there, and I'll take them. Now, we'll be checking for any of the DDOs that could be on these or the RPMs if there's Denvers, but I'll keep you guys informed on that. Now let's get back to the hunt. Looks like we're going to have a couple more Wheaties just a few handfuls later. A 1944 San Francisco this time, and for wheat scent number five already, another 1941 Denver. Just a few handfuls later, and take a look at these. A couple of wheat scents, that'll make six and seven. We have a 1944S, and look at this one right here peeking out from under the pile. A 1927. We don't need a 27 Philly, but it's good seeing a 20s wheat scent in this bag early on, and that's already seven. And since I have you, we do have our second Canadian scent. That's going to be a bird scent. We'll definitely take that. And if you're wondering... We now have a total of nine nice 1959s. Light on copper, though. Back to the hunt. Same pile. We had a 1955 Philadelphia hiding in there, and it would be naked eye visible if it was the DDO, but it's not. Either way, it's still a nice 1955 wheat scent. Wheat scent number nine. A 1942 Philadelphia. Next handful, we have our 10th wheat scent already. And that's going to be a 1956 Philadelphia. And since I have you here, yet another nice 1959. And we actually have a Laureate portrait or a Younghead Canadian scent. It's going to be 1964 or earlier. And that's going to be a 1964, which we'll add to the Canadian section. Lots of the bag left. Splashed out another handful. Wheat scent number 11. 1958 Denver. Wheat scent 12 kind of was hiding because I thought it was just a damaged copper scent, but it's a 1955 Denver. Same handful, and I didn't notice it before, but I think that's going to be a 1940-something with a mint mark. I don't know. 
I do see it's a wheat scent by the reverse, and it does appear to have a mint mark. I'm going to say 1945 San Francisco. I'm going to say 1945 San Francisco on this damaged wheat scent and uh, add it to the board and move on. Wheat scent number 14 is another destroyed wheat scent. And that's going to be a 1946 Denver. I can just make it out. Still working on that bag, and we have a ton of the nice 1959s. And how I know it must have been a original bank wrap roll dumped into it is take a look at the toning on this obverse of this 1959. And when you flip it around, it's bright red. So I'm going to imagine that we have an original bank roll here. And I'm going to try to see if we get all 50 of them. And if I do, I'm going to put them back in a roll with the two enders. I'll have to double check the back of all these ones because I haven't done that yet to see if we have the other end and if we get 50 of them. Just wanted to show you that cool toner. Let's get back to the hunt. All right, I'm back with a quick update. I flipped them all around and I think that's going to be the bottom one. I think that's the top one. And I think this was probably one that was right under one of the other ones. It's not uncommon to see the top two coins and the bottom two coins have some toning and the rest not. We'll have to see if we have more than that, though, because if we start having a lot of toned ends like that, we might have a couple of rolls in this bag. Either way, that's a fun find. Can't wait to get those together. Hopefully, we get all 50 of them. But let's get back to the hunt and uh, see if we get some more goodies. Well, that was almost on cue. Dumped that roll out of my hand. Didn't even notice it until I looked at the pile and we got another wheat set. This is going to be number 15 already of the bag. And that's another 1949 Denver. Another handful, another two Wheaties. One's from the 30s, so 1937. We'll take that one. We don't need it, but it's always nice seeing. And this wheat scent is another 1944S. I don't think I've seen as many 1944S's ever in a box or bag as much as this one so far. Man, 17 wheat scents already. We're not even barely anything done with this bag. Weed cents 18 and 19, a 1958 Denver, and another 1944 San Francisco. Weed cent number 20, a 1953 San Francisco. Weed cent number 21, a 42 Denver. Weed cent number 22, is going to be a 1951S. A lot of S minted wheat scents in this bag. And that's a good sign if we can get some earlier ones. We're going to continue with the hunt. But I wanted to point out now. We've got, what is that? 48. 48 of the 59s. And now I have what looks like quite a few enders. So it might be more than a full roll. Could be a couple of rolls in this bag. All right. Back to the hunt. We've got a few more wheat scents here. I've uncovered a 1947, and I think that's a Denver. Let me just double check. No, it's another S minted wheat scent. 1947S this time. And right here, we have for wheat scent number 24, that's going to be a 1920. Another oldie, but another Philadelphia minted wheat scent as well. We have 24 wheat scents on the board, and I don't even think we're halfway done with this bag yet. We definitely have more than a four roll of nice 1959s. Another handful, another several wheat scents. This is going to be 25, 26, and 27. The first wheat scent is another estimated wheat scent, 1950 San Francisco. The second one is a 1952 Philly. And I saw one at the bottom here. And that's a pretty nice 1954 Philadelphia as well. Got to make some room on the board. Weed scent number 28 is another San Francisco minted one, and it's the first from 1940 that we have found. Weed scent 29, 1956 Denver. We're probably almost halfway done with the bag, but we have our 30th weed scent of the hunt, and that's going to be another oldie, a 1928 Philadelphia. We don't have that one on the board. We definitely have it in the book. Nice to see. And for those wondering, I went ahead and made some room on the table here. I got rid of some of the 59s, put them into a roll. I took the enders that are definitely end coins and put them on the ends. 
as you can see, and put all of the nice shiny ones in the middle, but all the sides are darkened from the paper being rolled up for a long time. So we've already got one full roll, and it looks like we're gonna be working towards another roll, and that's the two enders that I'll use as well. I haven't seen any more enders, so it looks like it's probably at least two full rolls in the bag, hopefully. Let's get back to the hunt. I won't talk about these too much more. I just wanted to show you that I'm rolling them up. A few more wheat cents to report. Wheat scent 31, a 46S, and wheat scent number 32, another 46S. Splash out another handful, and as you can see, there's more nice 59s, but I think I see three wheat scents. I already saw this one, 1936, which we'll quickly check for the DDO, and that looks like that might be the DDO, even though it's damaged. That looks like it might be the DDO, even though it's damaged. Let me just double check everything else. Yeah, we've got splitting here. Splitting here, even though the damage is gonna ruin it. That's extra fat and that's extra fat. That is the 1936 DDO and it's in terrible shape because of the damage. Are you kidding me? Man. That's unfortunate. Let me just take one more peek at that to confirm on 99% sure. Yeah, it's worn, but that's definitely the 1936 DDO. Unbelievable. We finally find one of these and it's in rough shape. What a bummer. There's damage, it's not even worth grading. It's not even worth grading at this point. Let me bring up a picture of PCGS and I'll show you what it looks like. So the 1936 double die obverse wheat penny has three different types of doubling, type one, type two, and type three. And you saw me take a look at all of the design elements. Obviously I saw the doubling at 1936, but I didn't see any doubling on my coin on Liberty or on In God We Trust. And I'll bring it to the bigger one to see. Doubling there, doubling there, and heavy doubling on there. Mine is not the type one. I brought up the type two, which is what I have. Heavy doubling right there. You can see the splitting on especially that nine and the one, but very minimal spread or doubling on all of the other design elements. And then there's also type three, which only has a little bit of doubling on Liberty very hard to see, but you can see just a little splitting on the L. And of course it does have doubling on In God We Trust, but no doubling at the date or at least very minor doubling. So I have the type two. The type two in a brown condition in mint states is not that uh, valuable. Obviously if it was a mint state 63 brown, it'd be worth about $400. But in my condition with damage, it wouldn't even get a grade. And based on the details, I'm probably in this VF range, but VF at $60 in great condition. This is not in great condition. Dang it. We finally found one. I'm happy that I got one, but it's not in great shape. Maybe a VF 20, if it even got a grade. And I don't think it would with the damage and the scratches. What a bummer. I'll put it back under the scope one more time for you guys to see. Once again, here it is. Obviously, it's split there. I know the damage takes away some of this, but it's split there, it's split there. It's really extra thick here, and it's definitely extra thick here. It's worn, but it's definitely the 1936 DDO Type 2. First of the 36 DDOs I have found. Again, rough shape, but we'll take it. I'm definitely flipping it up and adding it to my collection. Now that we've already found that one, I've got a couple of more to pull out of here. Another wheat scent, 1956 Philadelphia. And I thought I saw a third one, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh yeah, right here. And this one's gonna be a 1955. That'd be nice if it was the DDO, but it looks like it's not and it's heavily damaged as well. Three more Wheaties in that uh, handful. Can't get mad at that. We're approaching 40. We'll add that to the board and get back to the hunt. Weed sense 36 and 37 and yet another handful of pennies. 1953 San Francisco, and I got to make room on the board because we've got so many different years and mints now. And 
Another 1955. It's actually in pretty nice shape, although I think it's only looking like this because it's been cleaned or polished. It's not the DDO, but let's see if it's the poor man's DDO. And it's not. Just another 1955 for the board. 38th weed scent of the bag is a 1940 Philly. Weed scent 39, a 1950 Denver. Weed scent number 40, a 1948 Denver. Weed scent 41, another 56D. Weed scent 42, looks like it could be another oldie. Take a look at that reverse. Maybe teens or 20s? Another 1920, Philadelphia. Weed scent number 43, could be another oldie. And it is. That's the oldest find of the bag. No mint mark, 1916. We got a teens weed scent. Definitely will take that. That's the oldest find so far. 43rd find overall. Weed scent 44 is a 44 San Francisco. Two more weedies, 44 and 45. A 56 Philly and a 1942 Denver. The bag's getting pretty low, but there's still quite a few cents left in it. And we have a few more wheat cents from what I can see. Wheat scent number 46 is a 1956. And wheat scent number 47, I think it was a 51. It is 1951 Philly. Splashed out another handful, and I see wheat scent number 48. And it's either very old or just very worn, or both. And it's just very worn. It's going to be a 1946 Philadelphia. Same handful, and we actually had two more wheat cents in that handful. Another 44S for number 49, and I saw it right here. I think it's a 49 something. A 49 Denver. Wheat cent number 51 is a 1949 Denver. A quick look at the bag. Definitely getting really down to the end, but we have two more wheat cents. I can see number 52 peeking out. It's another 1944S and a reverse facing for 53. A 1941 Philly. We can check that for the three different DDOs. There's one at the date. It's the one I don't have. Another one at Liberty, which I do have, and that's not it. And then another one at the motto in God We Trust, and that's not it either. All right, another weed scent found. We might make 60 or more. Nearing the end of the bag, so I'm grabbing bigger handfuls now, and I just saw weed scent number 54, and it's another 44S, of course. And since I have you here, I also saw a four, and there it is. Looks like we have a one cent from the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, 1998 with the starfish on it. That's actually only our fourth foreign. The other three are from Canada. Weed scent number 55, another 44S. Weed scent number 56, a 1948S. I know we have another 48, but I don't remember if it was an S or not. Getting down to the very end, maybe four or five handfuls left. Wheat scent number 57 is peeking out. Could be old. Nope, just another 1954 Philadelphia. Well, we did it. The $50 bag of pennies or 5,000 pennies in total have been hunted and it was a fantastic bag. Somewhere along the line, I lost track of the number of wheat scents because when I did a final tally just to make sure my numbers were good, we have 58 and I think it's when I found this 36, I put it on the top and flipped it up and forgot all about adding it to the totals. Either way, there's 58 wheat scents. Of the 58 that we found in total, seven were before 1940. Of course, I'll show them really quick. We had the hard to see 1916, two 1920s, a 27, a 28, and a 1937. And then, of course, the find of the box, even though it's damaged, is the 1936 DDO FS 102, the Type 2 doubled die obverse. As far as copper, there's only four pounds and four ounces in the cup, but when you add all the wheat scents and all the rolls I'll get to in a second, probably well over five pounds. Either way, four pounds, four ounces in a cup. We ended with five Canadians and, of course, that Bahamian scent. Four exact rolls 
of uncirculated original bank wrap roll type uh, copper 1959 memorial cents on the nose. Exactly the number of enders and the number of enders we need to make four full rolls. We also had a similar thing, and I didn't talk about it because I was talking so much about those. Almost a full roll of 1964 Philadelphia uncirculated with the same brown edges. I did check. I didn't see any of those to be the DDR. As far as other 59 circulated examples, we did have seven of those and two 1969 S's, neither of which were the DDO. That's all the zinc discards right there. This is what the board looks like. I don't think we have anything for the book. Maybe some of these S-mints, because that was a lot more S-mints than I've ever seen anywhere other than California. And maybe some of these might upgrade what we have in the book. We'll have to see. Let me do the comparison of the book to all the finds, see if I have any upgrades or additions, and then I'll be back with a look at the book and a recap of the hunt. Well, we have compared all the finds to the album, and despite the sheer number of wheat cents we found, I only could make a case to upgrade one, and you guys have said you wanted to see the upgrades when I did them. This was my original 1916. Obviously, it's got some corrosion and some damage, and even though the one we found today is really slick, at least it doesn't have the damage. So because it looks nicer, even though it's slicker, and the reverse is much better, we're going to plug that one in and have an upgrade today. Let me get this all set up. I'll get the new sheet out. I'll be back in just a second. All right, I've got the sheet updated. Now, after 208 boxes worth of cents hunted, even though we're stuck at 205 of the 234, we did upgrade that 1916, like I said. I do want to take a second to once again thank Southern Metal for this bag. And for those wondering, we did trade for two bags this time. This was the first, so stay tuned for the second bag that will be hunting shortly. I also want to make a final mention that if you missed it in the beginning of the video, check out Southern Metal's 2,500 subscriber giveaway. I'll have that link down below for you guys, and I'll even put it at the end of this video as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this long one bag hunt. It had a lot of goodies and I had a lot of fun going through it, but it definitely took some time. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.